Okay, we're gonna put the floor down in the in the bathroom. You can see I've uh, I've taken the toilet out. I've taken the flange out. I've cut my water line, and now I'm going to lay the floor down. And uh, life is good. Okay, got it nice, nice and tight against the shower. Um, it said to leave a quarter inch around the walls, um, but keep in mind this tongue and groove going to go down on top of that. So it'll, I'm not going to, I'm not going to force the tongue groove down on top of it, but it'll give me a nice clean edge. And I got my first row out here. And what I'll do is I'll probably do out to here and then continue on down to there with my flooring and then I'll tape the edge because I don't want to mess up the edge. For those of you who know how this stuff works, it's a, it's a product from, from Home Depot. It's got the rubber. Uh, underlayment so you don't have to put that down it's got a, uh, a vinyl core you can see it and then it's got the the uh, you know the pattern on it which is some kind of common wood but it's it's all water impermeable materials so you can get it wet you can get it dirty and you can just clean it up okay all right, let me finish up here and I'll be right back. Okay, I got the floor done in front of the appliances. Um, actually, I forgot I only bought one box to do basically the bathroom. And uh, that was so I could take the toilet out, put it back in, uh, finish my walls. Once I'm done with my walls and trimming out in there, I can put my toilet back in and that's it you know you don't want to be taking that in and out so I've got my flange back there and this time I'm going to glue it to my three inch pipe <coughs> and um, I got a new shower valve I'm sorry not a uh, not a shower valve but I bought a new uh, a shutoff valve for my uh, for my water supply to the uh, to the uh, to the toilet. I didn't have one before. I was just connecting directly to the toilet, so that'll allow me to shut it off. Like those shutoff valves under there. Okay. All right. Now I'm gonna go ahead and trim around trim around this door. That's one of the reasons I want to put the flooring down first, so that my trim boards can just you know, rest right on top of it. It just looks so much better than trying to cut your floor around it or try to cut it and fit it underneath it. You know, why put the trim on first and then put your floor down when you have the option to put your floor down. So, all right, let me do some of that. Go all the way around and then I'll be back. Okay, I'm getting ready to uh, trim out the sides of the shower with the PVC board. Okay. I'll be back. Okay. Got my door trimmed out. I spackled the holes with wood filler. Let that dry for a while and I'll sand those. I've got my PVC board uh, trim on one side and 
trim on the other side and I'm gonna let those dry real good before I <coughs> start putting my tongue and groove on I am gonna I sent the youngest to Lowe's to pick me up some more uh, two and a half inch uh, uh, trim boards so I can do this side of the uh, so I can do this side of the, uh, the door frame and then yeah, I have some enough to do up here but I want to trim around the trim around the ceiling so I can go ahead and put my tongue and groove in um, this corner here I mean came out perfect it's exactly what I wanted um, this piece of wood right here actually serves as one of the uh, you know sides of the uh, of the cabinet that's going to be there so that's real nice I got Patriot in here and he's been inspecting all day he's been coming and going say hi Brian say hi Patriot he's looking for something to play with what you looking for hmm looking for something anyway so pretty much at a standstill until uh, well that's you know I silicone my PVC board on because I don't want to shoot any nails through it although you can shoot nails through it it's just so much better to, to silicone it to the to the underlayment um, and then of course you know when I caulk be caulking down there as well um, so there's a good bead of silicone behind there and I'll finish up, you know, installing my toilet. It'd just be much easier to put the tongue and groove in when the toilet's not in the way. And uh, of course, that corner right there gets a, a trim board. <coughs> and uh, what I do is I have a, a two and a half inch and an inch and a half piece, and it makes a real nice corner. Now, I'll be addressing my my ceilings at the very, very end, and that will be the simplest thing because I'm going to be using tongue and groove I'll have lots of little scraps left over from from the walls and everything and you know I'll just be putting that up and uh, probably use screws in case I need to take a section down and uh, you know it'll look real nice so I don't know what what you find in there you checking everything out? Yeah? Alright. I got cleaned up a little bit. I'm going to wait till, uh, till my youngest gets back with that trim board and I'll go ahead and put that on and get some, uh, and fill the holes, the nail holes. And uh, I'll get that corner piece in as well. And uh, fill the nail holes. Sand them. And then the the in, inside part of the walls will be ready for tongue and groove. All right. Uh, got old Glory flying. All right, I'll be back. Okay. The boy got back uh, from Lowe's. He picked up my lumber that I asked him to get. And uh, then when he got back, I was just kind of going over some of the systems we put in and uh, how plumbing works and electricity and the tank monitors and kind of lost track of time. So it's all good. So we're going to pick this up tomorrow. Um, we will finish the bathroom tomorrow. No big deal. Um, Got everything cleaned up, getting ready to close the back door. Uh, bump, bump, bump. I'll be showing Mama when she comes home.
Okay, got the ramp door up. Uh, I stuck my, my toilet back in the garage, so now I have to put the lawnmower back. Oh, I know, there was one thing I wanted to show you. You may remember yesterday that uh, I put water in my black and gray tanks and because I have no valve between them, which I will, uh, I bought one, it's right there. I just have to install it. Um, matter of fact, I'm gonna probably do that tomorrow. But anyway, so I filled those tanks up, I think yesterday, I can't remember, but if you notice yesterday, my black tank was at a third and my gray tank was at two thirds. So what has happened is the trailer's pretty level and the tanks are pretty much level with each other and the pipe's pretty much level with each other until it starts its way down to, uh, you know, to, to drain. So they basically, the black and the gray have equalized themselves and so they're both reading two-thirds full, which is kind of cool. But as soon as I put that valve in, if I drain my gray tank, then it'll show empty. Well, actually, I can't drain my gray tank unless I drain my black tank. Anyway, you always drain your black tank first. So if I drain my black tank and it's empty and I have that valve closed, then my gray tank will still be at two thirds. We'll try that tomorrow just for shits and giggles. All right. Uh, it feels like it wants to rain. It actually kind of cooled off a little bit. And uh, go ahead and bring, bring old Glory in. I don't like my flag getting too wet. You just I'll come out later and lock it all up. But uh, like I said, I want to show Mama the progress. Um, I got invited to uh, join this group on Facebook and uh, come to find out they're holding a rally at the end of uh, April at uh, in Vero Beach at the uh, the Vero Beach Camp. So I've booked my uh, I've booked my uh, campsite. It'll be number will be number two seventeen right there uh, for the twenty sixth, twenty seventh, twenty eighth, and leave on the 29th. Um, so it's a pretty cool little uh, little thing. So I look forward to seeing other people's uh, uh, cargo trailer. Uh, creations all right y'all have a good night and uh we'll talk to you tomorrow